What is the best computer for privacy and anonymity on the internet? This is a common question I get. We're going to break down a couple computers here today. What would I recommend? Portability, mobile, anonymity, privacy focused. Are there even any good options? Are there any good budget options? With a lot of these big companies like Microsoft having serious issues and Apple being on the fence. Now, I love Apple. I'm a big Apple power user. But I got to say, they've made some questionable decisions. They've made a few good decisions, but also, can we do better? Well, I think we can, and we're going to break that down right now. An operation, private computer. Linux machines are definitely a good option, and there's a handful of Linux laptops that I will review down the road. But I wanted to start with budget options that you can get into right now. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is Raspberry Pi. The problem with the Raspberry Pi has always been underpowered. It's been a decent machine. This is a Raspberry Pi 2, and I really like it. Compact case, you can make a case. I've even 3D printed a lot of cases for these in over the years. And it's a good little machine. A lot of hackers love them. A lot of people who just try to program and do different things. But the Raspberry Pi 2 was okay. I no longer have my Raspberry Pi 1. But then they moved on to Raspberry Pi 3. Now, this is a small keyboard you can use. Wireless keyboard or you can use a wired keyboard for one of these. And what I did was I had the Raspberry Pi 3. And this is more of a tablet version. So you can see on the back. It is a Raspberry Pi 3. Me and one of my daughters built this. Really cool machine. And it's very portable. Plug it into a portable power supply. You could use a large portable power bank or you can plug it into the wall. And you've got a whole bunch of ports here for all kinds of accessories. You could go directly to Ethernet or you can do a wireless card. So it gives you a lot of options with the Raspberry Pi 3. I chose for the tablet option. And this is actually a pretty good unit. But then the Raspberry Pi 4 came out. So the Raspberry Pi 4, as you can see here, I got the fan hooked up. But the Raspberry Pi 4 is also a very good unit. We'll go ahead and boot this up real quick. You guys can check it out. The Raspberry Pi 4, I'm a huge fan of. Now, this is the 8 gig model. And this is the first Raspberry Pi that I don't know if I would say it would be a replacement to your standard computer. But the portability of this device is incredible. And the ease of use, you can change out the micro SD card for storage. You've got, this one has eight gigs, which is incredible. You've got USB ports, USB type C for power. You've got micro HDMI, two of them on the side. So this is kind of taking portable computing and allowed you to have different form factors. So more of the tablet laptop style, which you can of course do this with the Raspberry Pi 4 or a portable pocket machine. Obviously, you've probably seen these on things like Mr. Robot. They used them to get into that, uh, what was it, like a power plant or something? And Mr. Robot, they used the Raspberry Pi, something with the thermostat, right? There's, there's so many things you can program on a Raspberry Pi and be able to have a good private machine. The other thing I like about Raspberry Pis is they're disposable. I mean, you can get these for under 100 bucks. So if you're doing something on a Raspberry Pi and then just discard it, that's an option. You can get these anonymously and you can discard them if you need to. You can use them for all kinds of different features. So in, in my opinion, part of a privacy machine at some level could be a machine that is disposable. Once you have all the features, again, you can 3D print cases, you can get a screen. Once you have the screen, the keyboard, you got some kind of mouse, or if you're gonna use a touchpad like we have on here, there's a touchpad and a keyboard. So these are, these are great. I've got half a dozen of these lying around. They're not expensive, uh, these different uh, wireless keyboards. You can see in the back here, they got the battery built in and they got the place for the uh, USB attachment. Not bad. Now, if you're in a public setting, you might want to use a wired option because wireless is always a potential problem and a potential vulnerability and weakness, but I'm sure you already know that. So looking at the Raspberry Pi for portable PCs, they, in my opinion, are the gold standard. And I think these are great whether you're doing well, pretty much whatever you're doing, this is a great option. I recommend you get one of these, play around with it, check it out. I'm gonna do some comparison videos here on the channel in the future, breaking this down versus other portable computers. So I recommend you subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. We're making videos every single day here on Privacy X. 
And we're talking about tech, we're talking about privacy, we're talking about how to keep your privacy and anonymity, how to be a ghost in a digital world, but also live a quality life, because that's the problem, finding the balance. Not giving all your data to big tech, not selling your soul to big tech, but still being able to partake, not hiding under a rock and just missing everything because you don't want them to steal everything from you. So we try to find a balance. We try to be able to use technology and enjoy technology, but we also want to have a balance of not being hacked and not having technology be able to take all of our data, take all of our information and use it against us ultimately. So it's kind of finding that balance. But this is my vote for the best privacy computer because you could do so much to this. The problem with Apple, as much as I love Apple, is they're locked down. Great for business, I use Apple for business, but they're so locked down. Problem with Windows is so many bugs, so many so many vulnerabilities and Windows has had all the stuff come out over the last couple of years, surprised to no one of being, well, having backdoors and other governments using these backdoors. And Windows is one of the worst machines out there in my opinion. So having more of a DIY thing, having more of an open source. Why well, I love Raspberry Pi and for building our robotics and doing different things, I'm always working with Arduinos. I love these open source electronics, things you can work on, things you can play around with. Uh, there's a lot of open source software you can play around with. We go over a lot of it over on privacyxproject.com. So check it out if you haven't already. Putting out new information on there all the time. And uh, yeah, but this is my vote. Let me know down below what yours is. Do you like the Raspberry Pi or do you think there is a better option? Again, I know Linux laptops and we're going to break some of those down. But there's a big difference between 100 bucks and you know one to two thousand bucks so it's different price ranges for people to get into i recently just bought a new linux laptop that i'm playing with right now testing and once i've got a good feel for it i will do a review i don't like to do unboxings on this channel that's not my thing i like to talk about things that i know about obviously i have years of iterations of raspberry i've been using raspberry pi for probably I don't know, six years, I think, something like that. So I've been using these for a long time. I have, this is just three of them. I probably have at least half a dozen of them. And so I feel like I can talk about this educated because I spent countless hours using these. Whereas the Linux computer I just got, I want to get some time on it first. So I will be doing a review on those. There are a few good Linux computers that are coming out, which is very promising. It's kind of pushing back because before we had options, but they were just, you know, it's hard to go with those when, when what the, the big companies are putting out. But now that some of these Linux computers are looking so promising, it gives us some hope for those of us who care about privacy, who, who feel like if we're going to buy the hardware, we should have control of the hardware. If we're going to buy the software or we're going to use the software, we should have control of it, right? But the weird thing is we live in a world where we buy this stuff and the stuff controls us. That's, that's crazy, in my opinion. That is absolutely crazy and that is not the way that it should be. So... Anyway, want to break these down. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you haven't already, make sure you go all in in everything you do in your life. Take action. Have an amazing day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.